Like France, Italy and Germany, Spain too was a nation that quickly joined the rising trend for high-speed rail operations in Europe by creating the AVE or Alta Velocidad Española, a network of super-fast lines that connect Madrid to the many regional centres of the vast Iberian Peninsula. Sadly, much like Italy, the creation of the AVE has been one troubled by government ambitions outweighing financial abilities, and therefore this major infrastructural project has been, and continues to be, plagued with controversy. The story begins in the mid-1980s, when Renfe, the national rail operator of Spain, was suffering heavily due to the influence of domestic air travel, with airlines such as Iberia and Spantax providing fast and efficient connections between the nation's capital, Madrid, and the large cities that line the southern, eastern and northern coasts, while train travel was restricted to slow, winding railways that meandered through the expansive Dust Bowl of Andalusia and the mountains of Castile and Leon. Though Spain had attempted to speed up journey times during the 1950s and 60s with brand new Talgo tilting train sets, services between Madrid and the Spanish regional centres were still non-competitive against the airlines, the run from Madrid to Barcelona, for instance, taking nearly 10 hours to complete. On March 3, 1982, Seville, the capital city of the Spanish Autonomous Community of Andalusia, was announced to have won the bid to host the 1992 Universal Exposition or World's Fair the theme of which was centred around the 500th anniversary of Christopher Columbus reaching the Americas. Therefore, to coincide with the hosting of the venue, transport links with Seville needed to be upgraded. As the airport at Seville wasn't able to handle large numbers of international flights, resulting in most visitors to the fair having to fly to Madrid before transferring to a domestic connection, it was imperative that a new railway system be built to speed up the existing journey times between Madrid and Seville, the old broad gauge line, being forced into the Despeña Peros Gorge, a geographical bottleneck. Therefore, on October 11, 1986, the Spanish government announced the creation of the Nuevo Acceso Ferroviario a Andalucía, or NAFA, a high-speed rail link based on the principles of the highly successful TGV network in France, which would cut through the inner plateau of southern Spain between Madrid and Seville, with a proposed opening date that coincided with the start of the expo in 1992. After planning the course of the route, which starts on the approaches to the historic Madrid Puerta de Atocha station, the line would run south across 31 bridges and through 17 tunnels via Cordoba to a brand new station at Seville Santa Justa, with a proposed operational speed of 186 miles an hour. In a break from the traditional method of Spanish railway building, in order to suit international high speed train designs, the NAFA route would be constructed to a standard gauge of 4 foot 8.5 inches rather than the broad gauge 5 foot 5 inches that had been adopted by the Iberian Railways in the 19th century to facilitate more powerful steam engines, while the overhead power supply for the trains would be 25 kilovolts AC rather than 3000 volts DC as per the rest of the Renfe network. Under rumours that the decision had been influenced by the sitting Spanish Socialist Workers' Party, or the Partido Socialista Obrero Español, due to its political connections with France in order to assist in capturing Basque separatists hiding across the border, on December 23, 1988, French manufacturer Alstom was announced to have won the bid to supply 24 high-speed trains based on their latest variant of the TGV, the upcoming Atlantique, while proposals made by Talgo of Spain and Siemens of Germany were turned down. However, rather than fitting the NAFA route, with French-style transmission voie machine or TVM high-speed signalling, as per the LGV routes on which the TGV train served, the experimental Linienzug Bien Flusung, or LZB, system was used instead. This method based on track equipment that controls a 30 to 40 km section of line via an LZB control center computer, which receives information about occupied blocks from track circuits or axle counters, and locked routes from interlockings, thereby being programmed with the track configuration in order to provide sufficient information to calculate how far each train may proceed and at what speed. After 33 months of construction, starting on March 16, 1989, the NAFA route between Madrid and Seville was formally inaugurated on April 14, 1992, six days before the opening of the Expo in Seville, with 18 Series 100 or S100 high-speed train sets ferrying passengers at 186 miles an hour between the two cities, cutting the journey time in half and transporting 23,000 passengers within its first weeks, while the remaining six sets were built to broad gauge specifications and put to work on the slower Euromed service between Barcelona, Tarragona, Castellón de la Plana, Valencia and Alicante. This initial success saw immediate results, and quickly decimated the domestic air travel market into Andalusia, 
with air traffic on the Madrid to Seville run, being slashed from a 40% market share in 1991 to just 13% by 1994, while car and bus dependency dropped from 44% to 36% during the same period. Come the new millennium, the service, which had now been christened Ave, was carrying four times as many passengers as the comparative airliner market, and thus plans were laid out to expand the network across the Spanish nation, with new lines proposed on a short 13-mile section between Madrid and Toledo, to speed up the AV Media Distancia services on the broad gauge network, and long distance routes northeast between Madrid, Zaragoza, and Barcelona, north to Valladolid and Lyon, east to Levante, and onward international connections to France via Perpignan, as well as extensions to the existing route from Seville to Cadiz, and Cordoba to Malaga and Granada. Unfortunately, building the Ave network has been one troubled by controversy most notably the question of whether spending such large amounts of state funding on these infrastructure projects has been justified, together with delays in the design and delivery of certain routes that have proven to be something of an embarrassment to the entire scheme. The most notable complaint regarding the Ave system is an apparent lack of suitable cost-benefit analyses, with the Fundación de Estudios de Economía Aplicada, or FEDEA, having estimated that €40 billion Euros of public money had been spent on the six high-speed rail corridors that had been delivered by 2015, while another eight were proposed for opening by 2023. This was especially problematic during the height of the 2008 credit crunch, the worst economic recession since the 1929 Wall Street crash, and one that nearly saw the entire Spanish nation collapse into bankruptcy, as mass unemployment forced the government to apply for a €100 billion Euro rescue package from the European Stability Mechanism or while construction of the Ave network continued. In 2015, the FEDEA revealed that, on the four main high-speed routes opened in Spain, the lines from Madrid to Barcelona, Levante, Andalusia, and Lyon, these services on average only carried 70% of their potential load factor, the Ave system transporting far fewer customers than comparative high-speed lines across the globe at only 12,000 passengers per kilometer, while France carried 61,400 passengers and Japan carried 158,121 passengers. Amid representatives of Renfe stating that Ave trains were able to cover their operating costs without being supported by government subsidy, the lack of reform in the Spanish government's administration, public pension schemes, and tax system during the economic crisis have led to the Ave system being dubbed a white elephant, with the state having been more focused on delivering what has often been considered a vanity project to match the high-speed rail systems of other European nations, rather than prioritising social and economic issues that affect the Spanish public. This was compounded by earlier problems regarding the construction of the Madrid to Barcelona high-speed line during 2004, with a lack of suitable analyses as to the proposed route of the line, resulting in many geological problems, the most notable being the appearance of sinkholes that damaged buildings near the course of the railway and a commuter station, while a construction committee for Barcelona's famed Sagrada Familia Church lobbied for a rerouting of the proposed high-speed line tunnel as it passed within metres of the church's foundations, as well as the Casa Milla, designed by Antony Gaudi, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Another blow to the image of Spanish high-speed trains came on July 24, 2013, when an Alvia high-speed train travelling from Madrid to Ferrol, in the northwest of Spain, derailed near Santiago de Compostela, when the driver entered a curve at twice the designated speed, causing the train to tip over and strike a retaining wall breaking apart the coaches and leading to the deaths of 79 people. Regardless of its many economic flaws though, the Ave system is a superb feat of engineering that has, in the space of 30 years, delivered 3,200 kilometres of high-speed railway, making it the longest network in Europe based on trackage and the second longest in the world behind the Chinese high-speed network. As of 2021, high-speed lines have been delivered between Madrid, Seville, Cadiz, Malaga and Granada to the south, Alicante and Valencia to the southeast, with through connections via Castellón to the Guadalajara, Zaragoza and Barcelona line, which itself has onward connections into France via the 109-mile line to Perpignan, two northern cords to Sanabria and Léon, and the Atlantic Axis route between A Coruña and Vigo via Santiago de Compostela, with up to half a dozen further lines currently under construction or proposed that will either reach new destinations or connect existing lines. As for rolling stock, from the original S100 sets based on the TGV, in 2005, Talgo and Bombardier introduced the S102 low-floor articulated train sets, which are capable of 210 miles an hour, and later formed the basis of the Talgo 350 export sets for the new Mecca to Medina high-speed railway in Saudi Arabia, while in 2006, Siemens of Germany provided Ave with the S103, 
a member of the Velaro High Speed Express Unit family, and based on the ICE 3 train sets of 1999. Beyond those trains working under the Ave brand, other high speed sets used on the traditional broad gauge network include the Alstom S104, the S114, which is based on the Italian ETR 600 Pendolino units, but without the tilting function, the S121 Alvia sets, built by CAF of Spain, and the S130 Talgo 250 sets, 15 of which have been converted to hybrid use through the addition of power cars fitted with MTU 12V 4000 R43L generators and are now designated S730, all of these units being capable of 155 miles an hour. For the future, expansion of the Ave network is expected to continue, with Spain's high-speed system remaining as one of the largest in the world while providing suitable connections across the vast distances between the nation's major cities, although many questions linger as to the cost such an incredible engineering feat is likely to have on the ever-present social and economic problems that are to be left unaddressed in order to deliver the railway.